As part of the $100 million advanced manufacturing fund, there is a $4 million fund within that, which runs over four years, called the Advanced Manufacturing Early Stage Research Fund. That will provide funding for projects up to $400,000. Uh, they're running an e expression of interest, um, so that's that funding. So let's have a look and see what you need to do for that application. So uh, an important aspect is what can you spend your money on? So if you go to the, uh, the grant guidelines, uh, here it is here, eligible expenditure, uh, equipment development, testing and installation, software development, uh, any materials, salaries associated with the project, um, and then capital expenditure um, where they're related to the project. Now, um, pretty much anyone uh, can apply for this uh, project, so not too many exclusions. Um, let's have a look at what sort of projects they're going to fund. So in this expression of interest application form, um, it's really only a two page um, application form with really one page to explain your project. So you've got a very brief opportunity to explain yourself. So this is about projects um, and I've pre-filled this format a little bit. So projects uh, that is a small scale and pilot research project into advanced manufacturing. So it's all about rapid um, feasibility testing and getting the projects out quickly and failing fast. So there's three merit criteria which you need to respond to. And the first of all is the technology readiness level. So where is it the technology that you want to commercialise? Where is it at? Uh, in the guidelines, there's a definition of what the technology readiness is uh, on a scale of one to nine. Um, and they want your projects to be within one to four on the technology readiness scale. So the most that it can be is a component or a breadboard validation in the lab environment. And then by the end of the project, you shouldn't be any further than a component um, or breadboard validation in a relevant, relevant environment. So more your production or commercial level. So um, going back to the expression of interest. So you need to respond to the technology readiness level, prove where it's at. Um, and then there are a number of priorities um, in the advanced, advanced manufacturing growth center where you need to have your project at, or sorry, the, 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 what type of um, R&D priorities they're going to support. So big ones are around robotics and automation, advanced materials and composites, um, anything with a, a additive manufacturing is going to look good, um, and bio manufacturing, biological integration. So if you're in that area, you'll know what that means. So once you've identified how you meet that criteria, then you move on to the demonstration of those advanced characteristics. So there's three areas to look at there. It's either advanced knowledge, uh, advanced process, um, or advanced business model. So you've really got only got a short amount of um, space to convey how good you are and how well you know that level of technology. And then so on the second and final page, you can describe um, or you know, basically tick where, you're, where, where you fit in the uh, technology readiness level. Uh, you tick in the criterion and then measurement. So how can you measure um, what you're going to produce? And they really want to encourage uh, widespread adoption amongst the industry. So think about how you can convey this to the rest of the industry. Good luck with your application.